So Tricia, we're here, we're going to talk a little bit about the saddle fit. Yeah. Um, one of the things that both Austin and I find so beneficial from the horse, from the saddles is the way that the horses Im have improved underneath them. Yeah. Why, why does that happen? I think that the ethos behind Luke's saddles is that we're just trying to give the horse as much room as possible. And I think it's a bit like if you've got a balloon and you fill it full of and it's full of air and you hold it down like that then it won't come up but our saddles it's like taking your hand off the balloon and we're just letting the horse come up so we're letting the shoulders come up letting the back come up but at the same time keep the rider really nice and still yeah. so if the balance of the saddle was wrong the rider wouldn't be still so then the horse wouldn't be able to do that the challenge you must face, I'm six foot four, I'm not quite sure how tall Austin is, but I know he's not six foot four. Um, the challenge you must face um, fitting different shaped riders into saddles, mm. that must be a huge challenge. It's a massive challenge. It's, um, there's everything, there's you know, letting, getting people to actually understand the size that they are and to be honest with themselves about that. Yeah. <laughs> and there's also the challenge of trying to get so like for you, if you had a 12-2 pony, I don't think I could find a saddle, that make yeah, a saddle yeah, that you'd yeah, be able to yeah, ride in. Yeah. But it, to me, it's so important now that the saddle fits the rider and not just the horse. One of the things that when, when you and I first, when I first ever asked you to come to our yard and, and look at some of our horses, um, the, it was the first time I'd ridden in the saddle. Um, you made me a jumping saddle that was really forward cut. Yeah. And it has completely altered my balance. Yeah. So the way I go cross country or show jumping now is uh, I have a completely different balance. And that to me has allowed my horses to work better underneath me. Yeah. So yeah. that, that must be the kind of relationship, is it? Exactly. So we get the saddle to fit you. You'd never had a saddle made to fit you before. So we gave your legs enough room, we gave your bum enough room, and the rest of you is fine, you know. But then we've allowed your horse to not have to compensate for you at any point because yeah. you're not having to compensate for the saddle. So I always say it's a bit like if, if you're out of balance like this, your horse yeah. is feeling it. Yeah. And now you're sitting there yeah, and your yeah. horse is just able to do what it likes so underneath. So if, if the rider is in a great balance, then then the horse's way of going, its movement and its jump is going to improve underneath yeah, as well. it's natural then, isn't it? It's just, they're able to do it. So if you're, if, if you're moving around, it's a bit like carrying a wriggly baby. If, if, if the child's wriggling around in your arms, you, you've got to concentrate on holding the baby still. And, and if it's asleep and you hold it tight, you can run across a field or run for a bus or whatever you need to do. Same with the horse. If you're giving him an instruction, every time you give him the instruction, if it's in the same place, he'll be able to react to the instruction. Otherwise, it's all fuzzy. And it's, it's interesting watching Austin jumping this horse here, um, how, how still he is on yeah. the way to the fence. Yeah. Um, everything about the way he's riding is still, isn't yeah. it? So we could, um, Austin, can you come again and do that jump for us and really lean forward before the jump? So like you're really out of balance. Don't fall off. And you can see, <laughs> just to see if we can show how being out of balance can make a difference. Yeah, you see, so the horse hasn't landed as nicely. Yeah, yeah. Now come in and do it nicely as you normally do. But so, I, think, I think actually what you're asking Austin to do there is finding quite difficult because the saddle fits I know. well. <laughs> I, need to get some, I need to put a fluffy on and yeah, show yeah, how yeah, that yeah. makes him lean back. Yeah, so the horse lands better yeah, and is yeah. more in balance and yeah. ready to go and do the next jump. Which and is I, so guess, important. I guess really it must be vital, uh, whatever discipline you're in, whether it's dressage, um, show jumping or eventing, um, the, the balance for the rider and then consequently allowing the horse yeah. to work properly underneath is, yeah. is vital, isn't it? It's always, always the most important thing. And it's what we try and when we go in to, do, to meet a customer or a potential customer, and we're trying to explain to them how important the fit of the saddle is. All they're thinking about is how important it is for the fit of the horse. Yeah. But if you've got, it can be, it's been proven scientifically that if the saddle fits the rider the horse will always go better yeah, even yeah. if it doesn't yeah. fit the horse yeah, very well yeah. so it, because you're softer yeah so then that's well it's definitely made a huge difference to me but i Good. guess my great long legs it's going to <laughs> <laughs> thank you thanks for talking to us great thanks for watching shieldrick tv